Mungkin kerjaya sebagai seorang guru adalah satu kerjaya biasa yang dilihat orang. Namun bagi anak murid guru kimia, Yasmin Nurul Amin, mereka melihat diri guru mereka itu sebagai sumber inspirasi untuk terus menguasai ilmu pengetahuan. Cikgu Yasmin, sederhana orangnya, bergaya santun dan kaya dengan senyuman. Ramai yang tidak mengenali wanita berasal dari Taiping ini jika Perdana Menteri tidak menulis satu catatan tweet tahniah kepadanya 26 Januari lalu. Ini apabila beliau disenarai pendek antara 50 pendidik dari seluruh dunia bagi anugerah hadiah guru global anjuran yayasan Verki Jam. Bekas jurutera ini menggalas tanggungjawab sebagai seorang pendidik di Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Lasal Pertaling Jaya sejak 10 tahun lalu. I was a former engineer and uh, due to my father yeah uh, because he thinks I'm smart so he wants me to be a teacher indirectly so I decided to become a teacher and uh, there's no regrets because uh, this is totally exciting. Beliau mengajar berbekalkan konsep mendidik sapienta et caritas yang bermaksud bijaksana dan penyayang sentiasa disenangi pelajar. The way she incorporates the outside world into the syllabus is really uh, a magnificent thing that she has learned to do over the years and she has gained experience doing that. So that's why I nominated her because of her classroom which is very fun. I've always wanted to do this experiment in front of a huge crowd but no one has given me the chance. No teachers has given me the chance but Puan Yasmin was the only one who said yes and when I was given the chance, I was given the opportunity to do it. I came in front of the crowd and I did my experiment. I managed to get pin drop silence for 30 minutes which many other students find it very difficult to do and that wouldn't be achieved if Puan Yasmin didn't give me that trust and that yes that I wanted. Sebagai pendidik, Cikgu Yasmin percaya setiap anak muridnya mempunyai potensi mereka yang tersendiri. Jadi Yasmin melakukan satu inovasi yang dinamakan Shesta bagi membolehkan pelajarnya sentiasa fokus dalam pelajaran. Then in class if let's say it's already 12 o'clock and the students are very very tired so but I don't do this activity most of the time but I do it like okay when I see I need it uh, I do a an activity called siesta which uh, I let the student rest close their eyes and think of a happy thought and after that I share I uh, share with them uh, their happy thoughts and after that you see that the class is moving again and rising again and after that you see that the class is alive and after that you can just teach again mengendong beberapa buku teks ke kelas menanda kertas ujian pelajar mengajar di hadapan kelas itu sinonim dengan kerjaya seorang guru Namun ada satu dalam sudut hati kita yang memang tidak boleh menafikan bahawa guru ini umpama lilin yang membakar dirinya demi menerangi diri pelajarnya. Begitulah kisah seorang guru kimia, Yasmin Nurul Amin yang wajar dicontohi semua.